Welcome to our Dunlop Public School Kindergarten presentation. We are ready to help your child explore. It is a very important part of our OCDSB uh, culture that we do an acknowledgement of the Algonquin territory that we are so fortunate to have our learning taking place on. We are working every day in our school on unceded and unsurrendered Algonquin territory. And we thank the Algonquin Nation for hosting us and we recognize their presence on this land. What I am briefly going to talk about today is the OCDSB. There will be a message from our director, our school community, the kindergarten program, the extended day, which is before and after, care, transportation, getting ready for kindergarten, program options, family reception center, and some dates to remember. The first day of school in kindergarten is the first day of a wonderful road ahead. For about seven years, I, when I was a teacher in a classroom, was a kindergarten teacher. And to me, it was a joyful time students first experience in school, their first encounter socializing, exploring, learning in the structure of a school. And I have to say that the two teachers we have at our school communicate that joy of learning. Welcome to kindergarten and welcome to the OCDSB. We know that this will be the start of a wonderful educational journey for your child. Our kindergarten teachers and early childhood educators look forward to working with you and your child as we embark together on an exciting two years of learning. Our full day kindergarten program is the launch point to an array of programs that the OCDSB offers. During your child's school presentation, you will hear about the opportunities that your child will have to develop their French language skills. In the kindergarten program, our students receive exposure to both French and English language programming in a 50-50 format. They will have the opportunity to develop a strong foundation in both official languages as they begin their educational journey. You will also hear about the early French immersion program where starting in grade one, your child will spend the majority of their day being taught in the French language. Students can also enter French immersion in grade four in the middle French immersion program where two thirds of their day is taught in the French language. In the English and alternative programs, students receive instruction in English as well as 200 minutes per week of French instruction. This is called Core French. All of these programs are available to all of our students. It is your choice. We look forward to welcoming you to our schools and don't hesitate to reach out to your child's designated school to learn more. The first day of school in kindergarten is the first day of a wonderful road ahead. Our OCDSB team is eager to welcome you, your child and your family to our learning community. That was our director of education and she is absolutely right. Starting kindergarten is starting a wonderful journey. We have a place for every student. Students are why we are here. Our staff was so happy when we returned to school after having to work remotely. Students are why we do our job. To serve every student, each student must be seen, heard, and know that they matter within the OCDSB community. The OCDSB has a strong commitment to human rights, equity, and inclusion. We continue to work together to dismantle barriers to learning and to help all students achieve success. And this is ongoing and every day. With a focus on human rights and equitable practice, the OCD 
OCDSB is committed to creating welcoming and safe spaces for all students. The nice thing about Dunlop being a smaller school is that all the teachers know all the students. So we are all educators of all the students in our school. And so that does foster success, comfort, and a feeling of safety for students. We meet the individual needs of each student in kindergarten. If you identify as First Nations, Métis or Inuit, we do have an Indigenous education learning team. If you want to learn more about the support provided, please feel free to contact the Vice Principal of Indigenous Education by email. And if you would like to talk to me more about what we have specifically in our school, feel free to call the school and ask. I'm always happy to chat. Our community of character and exit outcomes. When we are teaching and providing learning opportunities for students, we are generally using design down planning. So for instance, if we are producing, if a teacher is producing a health uh, unit, they're looking at what the goal is for them when the students have completed it, what they need to know in the curriculum. It's the same with our community of character and exit outcomes. Every single educator in our board is working towards the exit outcomes, what we want our students to have when they graduate from grade 12. We want them to be goal oriented. We want them to be ethical decision makers. We want them to have diverse interests. We want them to be able to communicate. They need to be resilient. Life isn't easy. Certainly they can feel safe at school and still build resilience. We want them to be digitally fluent. We want them to be aware of the world around them and we want them to be able to think critically so they can then look at social media, look at the world around them and make decisions and have opinions. Welcome to Dunlop. Vanessa Collins is our French teacher. She works in the morning. Emily Voss is the English teacher. She works in the afternoons. The students are exposed to French in kindergarten. Jumana and Brenda are early childhood educators. Jumana has been learning French and is able to provide extra exposure for children. And I, Cynthia Wilman, am the principal. Welcome to kindergarten. We are definitely a team and children's, learnings at, ch children's learning at all ages and particularly in kindergarten, development occurs in the context of relationships with other children, with their peers, parents, other family members, educators, and the broader environment. We are definitely at Dunlop connected to our community. Right now with COVID, we bring the community in virtually, but we are connected to our students' community. The kindergarten program is play-based inquiry learning and it is a team approach. Kindergarten is no longer called junior kindergarten and senior kindergarten, it's seen as year one and year two. So basically it's a two-year program. There are certainly exit outcomes for students to be prepared for grade one, but how they move through the kindergarten program and continuum could be different for every student. They inquire at the developmental level they are at, they play very seriously and they learn. And as they are playing and learning and acquiring skills, they build on those skills as they are ready. And our team of four works very hard to engage students so that they are building their skills in a way that they can internalize and keep moving forward. Kindergarten is 50-50 bilingual. High quality kindergarten programming is delivered. We have an excellent French teacher, an excellent English teacher. 
There are no expectations, however, for French language acquisition in the kindergarten program. Children are exposed to French, are exposed to English if they have a third language or another language that they speak. Oral language is the focus, building communication skills in English and in French, as well as nonverbal skills. Often I will hear students saying sentences that are half French and half English as they are acquiring the vocabulary. They definitely understand what they are saying. The four frames of the kindergarten program are belonging and contributing, self-regulation and well-being, demonstrating literacy and mathematics behaviors, problem solving and innovating. Assessment evaluation and reporting is done through the progress report and two term one and term two reports. And this is just a snapshot of what the report looks like. You'll see there are no marks or grades. Basically what happens is the teachers enter key learning ideas, key learning events and uh, next steps, strengths and weaknesses. And it's written as a paragraph so you can really get information about how your child is doing. The OCDSB also operates an extended day program for ages 3.8 years to 12 years. In other words, kindergarten year one up to grade six, if there is interest within the community, we do have an extended day program that is part of the OCDSB. It opens at seven and it closes at six. Registration is separate. So if you are interested in EDP when you are registering, let us know. The early childhood educators at our school are the ones who run the extended day program. So the children are very familiar with them. We have an early learning assistant join us each day before and after school. So the children are in the EDP. There are three people that they are in total that they are working with. Uh, Brenda's in the morning with Leanne, our early learning assistant. Jumana is in the afternoon with Leanne. And uh, we have about 16 children in our program. Usually it works on PD days. Some days, March break or the winter break, they may be relocated to a bigger school, depending on how many people request EDP. And summer break is at select locations also. Um, if you go to the OCDSB website, and select childcare, you'll find all the information you need. We do not have a third party program. Transportation. Uh, if you visit ottawaschoolbus.ca, you can find out from your address if you are entitled to a bus. And if you are connected to the app, you can find out each day if the bus is delayed, what's happening. You can apply for an empty seat. Of course, during COVID, we don't have, uh, we are not offering empty seats. If children are eligible to walk, they walk. And this is simply because uh, they want to keep students spread out on the bus and safe. Um, however, uh, in the future, of course, uh, when things settle, there will be empty seat applications. So right now, if you have a kindergarten child and a child in grade two, um, the kindergarten child may take the bus if they're entitled, but the older child would need to be picked up. If you live a distance further, then a bus um, qualifies for an older child. What can you do to help your child prepare for school? Lots of play, lots of talking while you're playing, lots of asking questions. When you're setting the table, how many forks do we need? What's bigger, the fork or the spoon? Things like that, just constantly questioning. If you're at the grocery store, what do you see that's red? What do you see that's round? Um, structure and daily routines are important. Getting up at the same time, going to bed at the same time, encouraging your child to talk and learn and explore and having toys don't have to be expensive marketed toys, blocks and drawing and things that they can do, cutting so they can create things from recyclable materials. Encourage them to do this, encourage them to play. Lots of talking and listening. 
when you're reading, asking them questions that the answer they can't predict. Like, how do you feel about this story? What do you think will happen next? Things that ask them to think and predict. As well, there are many things that are important. Focusing on your child's development. Good dental health means that they are feeling healthier. They don't have a sore mouth, that kind of thing. Uh, immunizations must be kept up to date making sure their vision is okay. And if they need glasses, they can be provided. Uh, there is a lens crafter program where if parents cannot afford glasses, lens crafters offers them to parents, which we can talk about at school if you find your child needs glasses. Lots of communication, communication with your child, communication with us, lots of communication. Um, thinking about your child's emotional and cognitive levels and addressing that. Um, for instance, you can tell your child that one plus four equals five and they can, can say that, but if they don't understand the meaning of one and that four makes the group bigger, it's not the same learning as if they have the understanding of the concept behind it. Sleep is really important especially when school starts, they will often fall asleep as soon as they get home. Sometimes they fall asleep at school. Uh, nutrition and physical activity. Kids need to move every day. Kids need to eat. And when they come to school, which we will have our kindergarten, a more specific to our school kindergarten meeting in June, they need to bring lots of food because they get hungry. It's very important that you're working now on having them dress themselves and use the washroom themselves so they have that independence. They need to have clothing that they can take on and put, um, put on and take off themselves. And of course, there are lots of other resources around for parents. So the 50-50 bilingual kindergarten is a two-year program. Then when they're leaving kindergarten, they can move to English with core French, early French immersion, middle French immersion, or the alternative school. The program selected is a parental decision. And it's your choice. It's a personal choice. Delph results have shown there's no difference in final outcomes for students enrolled in early French immersion versus middle French immersion. In other words, students have the same level of French by the end of uh, grade 12, it's up to, it just depends on the child and whether they're ready for early French immersion, middle French immersion, what would suit the family better. And there is support available in all programs. These are the subjects that are taught at the elementary level. And as you can see, core French, which is what we have at our school, is 200 minutes per week, 40 minutes per day from grades one to six. If students go into English, early French immersion, grade one is 80% French, grade two to six is 60% French, 40% English, and math is taught in English. And then grade seven and eight is 50-50. Mathematics instruction is in uh, English starting from grade one. Students in the English program from one to three have a strong foundation in French. They have bilingual kindergarten plus grade one to three, they have 200 minutes per week of core French. So if they enter middle French immersion, they are well prepared. And here are the ratios for grades four to six and seven and eight. Delph defines the six levels of French proficiency. And English instruction for all subjects other than core French. Ah, this is the alternative program. The foundation of the alternative education philosophy. Uh, really, there's less of a difference between alternative schools and regular schools than there used to be, but uh, alternative programs, cooperation and teamwork are emphasized. There are definitely innovative approaches to teaching and learning. There's project-based learning with a balance between student-directed and teacher-directed learning. Mixed age groupings, split grades, family groupings, classrooms that foster collaboration. Integrated curriculum, stressing the interrelation of all learning and subjects. 
And it's a family and community centered school environment where parents are expected and needed to be volunteers and community and community members. And the ongoing assessment and evaluation is not so much on grades as on school development, as on the student's development. The Family Reception Center is for our families who have recently come to Canada or uh, speak another language and um, have been here for a short while and just joining our board. Um, the Family Reception Center is a place where families can speak with someone in their first language they're most comfortable with and helps help families navigate our registration program. Registration is open now. If your child will be four years old by the end of this year, please register. We would love to have you at our school. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you will choose to become part of the Dunlop family community. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them on the website or phone the school. If I can't answer you immediately, I will call back as soon as I can because I'd love to chat with any parents. Unfortunately, during COVID, we aren't doing tours, but I can certainly talk to you about the school and the programming. Have a good night, everyone.